In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your phone into a PC. Why would you want to do that? Well, I'll explain after I've said, roll titles. In today's video, I'll show you how you can turn your Samsung phone into a computer. And we're gonna be using this guy. And this is the SyncWire USB-C hub. And basically, it's got all kinds of cool gadgetry and gizmos in here. And it's got a load of different connectors. Now, I was going to do an unboxing video on this, which I did film, but it wasn't very interesting because there's not masses to it. So I'll just quickly give you a brief guide. Basically, you've got a USB-C cable here. And then on the side here, we have got a micro SD card and an SD card slot. And then we've got a USB-C connection there. And then we've got two USB-3 sockets there. And that one on the end there is a USB-2. And then round on this side, we have got a USB-C and this is a power input only. So if you want to charge your devices, whilst it's plugged in, you can do. You can just plug the power supply into that and it'll support up to 100 watt power delivery charging. That's quite a lot. So basically the idea of this is you can plug it into a laptop or a tablet that's got a USB-C port and it will give you a load of extra ports. So you can have the three USB ports, an extra USB-C port, and you can plug in an SD card or micro SD card from your camera and or phone. So this retails at around about the £45 mark on Amazon. There's a link down in the description. That is an affiliate link, so if you click on it and buy that then I do get a small kickback which helps the channel. But also on this end here is a HDMI connector. You can add an external display. It's actually got some kind of video card in here that will uh, power an external display. So that's really handy if you want to plug it in and do presentations and your laptop and or tablet doesn't have an HDMI port. You can just plug a monitor in and either mirror your screen or use it as a separate screen, which is really smart. Now something really smart about it is it actually supports Samsung DEX and that's what we're going to be using to turn my phone into a computer. Now Samsung DEX actually stands for Samsung Desktop Experience. See what they did there? And yeah, it brings a desktop experience that's powered entirely by your phone, which is really, really smart. So the idea is you can plug your phone into the USB-C connection here, uh, plug an external monitor or a TV into here. And then if you want to, you then you can plug in an external microphone and keyboard into here and use it as a computer. Now there is a way of using your phone as a sort of touch paddy mouse thing while you're using the phone in desktop experience, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's it's a pain in the ass basically. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, get this all wired up and uh, we'll go from there. So first of all, I need to plug in the HDMI cable uh, for the monitor that I'm using. And then we'll need to plug in the keyboards. There we go. Now, if you've got a wireless mouse and you've got one of those USB dongles, you can plug that in here, it'll power that fine, but I'm just using a wired mouse, so I'll plug that in. Cool, right, okay. So hopefully, let me just turn the display on. There we go, we have got a desktop, and uh, yeah, it looks like a standard Windows sort of Chrome OS kind of desktop, and there's the mouse pointer. There we go, that's all good. So what icons do we have down here? So we've got the apps, uh, we've got the recently used apps, uh, that's the home button, uh, back button, and then over here we've got a keyboard setting icon, you can turn the volume up or down. There you go, you can change all your volume controls like you would be able to on your phone. Uh, what's this one? Oh, you can take a screenshot, that's pretty cool. Let's do one. No real reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then here you've got your notifications. Well, telling me uh, I've got a screenshot saved. And then here we've just got the Wi-Fi signal and the uh, 4G signal. And if you notice, I've got a full wireless signal and that's because of the booster I'm using. And uh, I'll put a link to the video up there where I set up that booster. So 
that's showing it works. And uh, it's also got the battery level. Now you can, as I said, you can plug in a power supply into the USB-C power socket and uh, that will charge your phone while you're working. So if you do want to use this as a computer, you don't have to worry about it sapping your battery life when you're using this SyncWire USB-C hub. It will just take the power straight from the power supply and deliver it into your phone while you work and it'll all still work, which is marvelous. And then you've got the date and time which is pretty standard. So um, let's have a look at what we've got. So if we click on all apps, there you go. It's got literally all the apps from my phone already and willing to be used. Um, now, some of the apps do appear just like they would on your phone. So they look sort of pretty simple and other apps are actually optimized for usage on DEX. So for example, if we go into Word, and then go into a blank document. Now, before we do that, that's looking a bit noddy in Toy Town with that writing. It looks a bit low resolution. It looks like the sort of screen setting your grandma would have. I'm sure your grandma's a lovely lady, but she's just blind. So let's uh, change the font size. There we go, let's whack it down a bit. Oh, that looks nice. I like that, let's do that. There we go, that looks good. Oh, I like that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, look, it is just like using the desktop version. Do I have to type everything I say? No. Damn it! It's very similar to the version you get on your sort of PC. Do we have many fonts? Yeah, we got a couple. Oh, okay, yeah. Not a bad selection of fonts either. That's good. Yeah, as I say, some apps are optimised for DEX use, some aren't. Um, what about Chrome? You know, you're doing a bit of work, you want to look at the internet. How does that perform? Well, it's a double click to open. There we go. So um, let's go to YouTube. OK, so it's downloaded the mobile version of YouTube. Can I switch it to the desktop? Yes, I can. Oh, there you go. There's a bit of uh, YouTube. Let's have a little bit of my mate Vince. There we go. Vince is fixing a shredder by the looks of things. I'll have to watch that later. How cool is that? But yeah, it's just like it's like the standard desktop YouTube site. It's you know it works brilliantly well. Um, okay, let's have a look at other things you might use. So you might want to send a message or something. So let's go into messages. There you go. Can you do a new message? Yeah, you can, you can send messages. Now, talking of messages, do, how does WhatsApp look? Has that been optimised for DEX or is that just a crock of poo? Okay, so yeah, it looks pretty much as it does on the phone screen. Yeah, and extending it doesn't make a sort of conversation view or anything like that. Fair play. Fair play. Um, Let's have a look at the Play Store, see how that looks. Yeah, that's oh, that looks nice. That's kind of clearly been optimised. Now, does it support window snapping? So if I drag this to here, there we go. Okay, so you can have two things open. He says, there we go, ding. So in theory, you could have your YouTube in that side of the window and have your work in Word or Excel in this side and you can have things, two things to side by side. That's really smart. I like that. You know, it is very much a desktop experience, which is why it's called that, I suppose. That's pretty smart, isn't it? Because you've got the USB ports and the SD card ports, then you can just plug in an SD card and it will appear on the um, My Files app. You'll just get an, a separate drive showing and you can transfer pictures off your camera, for example, and stick them straight onto your phone. Or, you know, if you want to plug in a thumb drive and you want to take the pictures off your phone and put them onto a thumb drive, you can do that. It just, it just works. Um, let's have a look at the gallery, see how that works. There we go, right, so um, let's find that. Look at the cute picture of Dougie blepping the cake. Yeah, it's all good, there's George. Baby George, meeting Rylan. It's, it's like, it is very good. It is very good indeed. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it or give it a thumbs down if you don't. It doesn't matter either way. It all helps the channel. Even a thumbs down is a good thing. So uh, yeah, knock yourself out. 
I wonder if something a bit more advanced works okay with it. Let's try Photoshop. Okay, see, Photoshop mobile doesn't seem to want to go into like a full screen mode, which is annoying. Right, so uh, we'll try an entertainment app. Let's try a bit of Netflix. There you go, that runs nicely. That looks good on the old uh, desktop experience. I won't play anything because I don't want a copyright strike, but yeah, that looks good. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. I really think this is a smart way of giving a bit of extra, giving some extra features to your phone. And they're just sort of all in there, tucked away, ready to use. And just by using that SyncWire USB-C hub, you're kind of unleashing them and you're getting a much more powerful phone than you actually probably thought you had. That's very cool, I like that. It'd be great for traveling and sort of wandering around. You know, you, can, you don't need to take a separate laptop or anything with you. You can just literally take that, a small keyboard and mouse, and just plug it into the hotel room TV or a, or a monitor or something like that, and you've just got all your stuff right there. It's so smart, especially if you're taking loads of pictures, you can just pull out the SD card from your camera, pop it in there, and just download your pictures straight onto your phone and edit them or just you know post them on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. That's it's pretty smart. So there you go. That is the SyncWire USB-C hub. Um, if you like these videos, then please consider joining the channel. If you join from the $4.99 membership options and upwards, then you get to see these videos a little bit earlier than anyone else, which is good. Or if you just want to subscribe at 99p, that is fine too. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.